Good evening. This is Michelle from Jasami Bookworm Podcast. And I do say good evening because it is what might be perceived as the cocktail hour. So cheers to my cohort, Ian Macintosh, Ian Mac, cheers, Terry cheers. Z's. Cheers, cheers. Thank you very much. So whether it is a cocktail or a mocktail or whatever it might be, we wish you a lovely evening. It's a bit unusual, but that's what we're all about. So we have to talk about a few things coming up. Ian Mack, Ian, tell me about your podcast and what's coming up over the next few months up until the holidays. Uh, <clears throat> I take it, Rue, you are referring to the Simpson Road readings? Well, I could be referring to that or a whole lot of other things. So tell me what you uh, would like to talk about. Right. I've really not got a lot coming up in the Ian Mac podcast. I've still got my weekly Grumps and a Lad. So it is. But, um, yeah, what I'm hoping we can do in unison is Simpson Road readings from an officer's tale. Followed by a short reading from the secondment, followed by a reading from the last part of the trilogy, which is going home, and a reading from the standalone, the publisher. Uh, it's not a standalone. You've got a sequel coming out next year, but we'll talk about yeah. that in a moment. So, uh, following along the lines, it won't be necessarily a chapter as. Judith Powers did with the Magic Lantern. It'll be a few pages just to kind of interest everybody. And I have to say, I have interested another author, Paul Wandrum, from Demon's Fair. Mm -hmm. So what we might do is have a few pages of, of Paul's book, a few pages of yours. We haven't exactly just decided yet, but we want to make it for the audience. So this is a perfect opportunity for the audience to write in, Instagram in, message in, however you wish to communicate with us. What would you like to hear? And I know uh, your books have been quite popular recently, have received quite a few reviews because you've been out there chatting, having, you know, book sessions and such. And I'm speaking as Simpson and Rowe. So, yeah. how do you feel about that? What do you, what do you have to say to your readers? How do you feel about their reaction, which I know has been positive? The reaction has been positive. It has been positive, and all I've said to folk is, okay, if you want to read this, you can read it, but I need you to come back to me and tell me the truth. If you don't like it, you don't like it. Not everything suits everybody, and. I've not had a negative review yet, even though folk know me. Uh, I've had a few folk pick me up on minor, minor blips. Well, and, and that's the thing, is that you haven't even paid them a few quid to be no. nice about no. their about the reviews. No. So uh, that's um, the thing, is that they've loved the stories. Isn't yeah. that what's important? I think the favourite out a lot has been the publisher, to be honest with you, because... Yvonne Duncan's a strong woman and women relate to for some reason or other. Yes, so. and and the and the and the wonderful news about that is we will be working on the sequel to the publisher, which is called Can I Tell? Can I Tell? Please, please. It's been great imagination getting this title go for it. The retribution. Yeah. And you can't give anything away other than that. No. Yvonne is in it. Lorenzo's in it. Yeah. Maria is in it. Yeah. Uh, what's the dad's name again? Leonardo. Yeah, I always forget him. He's the bad guy. But anyway, so, but that's all we're going to say about that because we're going to be releasing a few snippets of that book going forward mm -hmm. into next year in the podcast. So what other things... Do you want the, tag the taglines? No. Okay. We're going to drip feed that into January. Okay. So uh, tell me about, now I know Andy Blackmore in this series has kind of come to an end. There's two more books, which we haven't published yet. Mm -hmm. However, there is one character from that series that has emerged on her own. Please tell the audience 
I'm so excited about this. Uh, you talking Jim Brown? Yes. Okay. Um, June Brown was Andy's sidekick. No, that's not right to say it. Andy was June Brown's sidekick because she had more service than him. And he was her probationer. So the books that haven't been published yet, can I name them? No, don't talk about them. It's not no, what I hasn't just... been published yet. It's about talking about June Brown. So talk about June Brown. Right, so the whole series comes to an end. June retires and goes to live on Grand Canaria in Mass Palomas. June became an expert in interviewing, or I should say investigative interviewing techniques training, which she took all through Europe and all through the Americas. So she's utilized those skills yeah. into becoming what? A businesswoman. And a private eye? And then. A private eye? She then becomes a private investigator. Yes. Okay, we get down to it. All right, yeah. that's the important part. So she's got two businesses. You don't have to give them all away. No. The part is, is we've got a strong woman mm -hmm. who's a private investigator. Oh, yeah. I'm loving that series already. Yeah. So we're leaving that there. Yeah. And uh, now there is one of my favorite stories, and I'm going to lead this into something that's coming up on the 1st of April next year. Right, okay. But you have one of my favorite stories, and we're putting both of them in. What are the two short stories that you've got? Uh, one is the cleaner. We'll not say anything else about that. And the other is the photograph. And you, you and can't I... can't talk about the you photograph. You and I... You like the photograph and I like the cleaner and yeah. you know what? Yeah. The audience will des decide, decide which one themselves. they like yeah. the, the best. Yeah. So that brings me to introducing mm -hmm. that I'm so excited about this. Uh, so as everyone knows, I am Catherine Grace, the writer. So yeah. I am giving up Murder, Mayhem and Romance to open it up to all of the Jasami authors Jasami team, creative team members, all of the team, as well as some some other members that we know and work with and colleagues, uh, for them to write short stories. We're bringing that together into an anthology called the Jasami Authors Anthology. And do you know what I'm really excited about? Okay, go ahead, go ahead, go cool. ahead. We are going to use all of the funds that come in from that. Right. It's going into uh, the Jasami Mentorship Program. So every one of the authors has signed an agreement that they will not receive any money, including Catherine Grace. And no one will get, no one will receive any funds from it. It will all go into that fund. And that's part of what we do as uh, Dasami Publishing and Production CIC mm -hmm. is that as a social enterprise, it's about us giving money back to the community. And this is one of the programs that we're going to do. We're introducing a whole lot next year, but I'm not going to talk about it now because we're just discussing a few couple of things this was supposed to be a short interview, but, you know, I like to babble on. Mm -hmm. But I had to introduce that, Ian. Now, right. you have two stories, maybe a third. What was the one that kind of you introduced into... Right. Jasami has a, a supportive writer group. Yeah, so we all support each other. Yes. Uh, when times get tough or you can't sing or seek advice. So we're all in the same boat. And what did you start? I have to ask. I, I, what come, did up, you start? I come up with this stupid idea that we should all write a story, but it's going to be the one story. And all I'm going to say is the story is called The Cup. Well, I think you need to kind of leave a little bit more into it in that. Okay. You started the story. Right. I started the story. And then different writers came in and added a part to it. Correct. 
So it became the most beautiful story. I it did. absolutely love it. It's yeah. phenomenal. It was a stupid idea and it all just came together. Well, no, it wasn't a stupid idea because it worked perfectly. It would have been a stupid yeah. idea if, if it, it hadn't worked. worked. Yeah. Yes. But so we give you full credit for it. It did turn out. It was actually quite fascinating that I started the story and I wrote maybe a couple of paragraphs and then I said, right, I need somebody to um, get on to the next bit of it. And within an hour, the, the next part of the story was out and within a day there was like another two parts of the story were out. And I was sitting reading it going, I started this and I've been in this journey with this cup. I'm not saying what kind of cup it is, you know, but... And it's a teacup. Okay, it's a teacup. We all, we all kind of chipped in. Oh, no pun intended. Chip teacup. Oh, my God. Sorry. No, she's just giving it away. Yeah, I know. No, but not to that. <laughs> I haven't given um, it away because this, the journey, that's the, the best part. It's the journey this teacup makes throughout life and and it it kind of expresses the journey that we all do in life all right i'm not going to talk about it anymore some of our our most famous and endearing Dasami writers have uh given their bit to this which will be released now the release date is the first of april oh my gosh that's april fools and it is the sixth anniversary of Murder, Mayhem, and Romance coming out, which is the reason we've done it. And we've got lots of other authors uh, contributing to it. It's going to be phenomenal. And again, anyone who purchases this book, uh, it's going to the mentorship program. It's not coming into Jasami because we're, we're a not-for-profit. So, you know, we have to give all our money away, which I'm really good at. Mm -hmm. Don't tell Russell. Don't tell Russell. Russell really, you know. Uh, well, obviously it's six years since Murder, Mayhem and Romance came out and I've read my way through the whole lot. And I guess I cracking because it is at the moment. But I think also that all the additional short stories you're throwing into um I, uh, you know, it's oh, really and I, good. And can I tell a little couple of things? We're going to have some poems in there from Claire Elizabeth, Steve Logan. We're also going to have a beautiful chocolate recipe from our favorite chef, Chef Ruth Denzi. Mm -hmm. And she's, um, she's going to give a chocolate recipe that's not included in either of her cookbooks of which we are still selling uh, my last will and testament for volume one and two and it is her last will and testament but we won't be too sad about it what we will say is this is the celebration of her life and her recipes and what she did and we don't want to name drop but do you want to name drop go ahead you love to name drop <laughs> who who did she who did she um, supply vegetarian recipes and cook for back in the day? Paul and Linda McCartney. Oh, I would never have said that, but you know, but it... I have. <laughs> so, uh, this was supposed to be a bit short, but when you and I speak, mm. we just have a good time together. Mm -hmm. So, we've covered the new stuff coming up, we've got the new short stories. Um, all of our authors are going to contribute. Is there anything you'd like to say before I do my cheery ending? Uh, no, I think we've covered everything and what's coming up between now and next June. Oh, yeah, but we're going to come together for the holidays. We're going to have our holiday special. Yeah. For... Uh, to Just to let people know what's going on for the yeah, holidays. Christmas. Yep. Yes, so... Uh, I always do the shout out, so I'll do the shout out first. Ian Mac Simpson Monroe, whoever mm -hmm. you wish to be, mm -hmm. who would you like to give a shout out to? This time, I think the big shout out must go to all your interns who have given up so many hours of their own time to team members make it a huge big team and working to the best of their ability to boost the Sami, which they are doing day in, day out. Thank you very much. 
I will say a minor little correction. Yes, we have a phenomenal internship program. Mm -hmm. And as I always say, as soon as someone joins Jasami, it doesn't matter which program they're in, they become a Jasami team member. So I will reiterate what Ian said. Thank you to the Jasami team because without the Jasami team, I Jasami wouldn't be here, and I can't say I, you know, I wouldn't be here, but Jasami wouldn't. It's completely up to you, your creativity, the hours you devote, what you give, and thank you for saying that because we both appreciate it. Yeah, have we been on since the Edinburgh Festival? I can't remember, but that that was your shout out. So we're en ending this. We're ending this part, so what we're going to say is we'll go for the next part. My shout-out, I have a special shout-out in this one. Um, it's coming to December, uh, the anniversary for Volume 1, Volume 2 of um, my last will and testament. Chef Ruth Denzi has been such an inspiration to me. She faces, as we all do, you know, um, that part that's going to come uh, a veil upon our life. And she faces it with such, oh, she's so inspirational. And so I wish to say thank you for giving me so much to look forward to in strength, you know, for later on in life when I have to face those those moments of it. And it's not about sadness. It's about reflecting on the wonderful life we've had. And that might seem altruistic, but I have been blessed, as I am with Jasami. So my shout out is to Chef Ruth Denzi. Thank you for continuing to inspire me. And as always, this is Michelle at Jasami Bookworm Podcast. Wishing you all a sunny day.